wanna go forage with us? Yeah. We're gonna go find some plants? Yeah. Let's go do it. Is the seat hot? It is hot. Seat is hot. Hands up. Woo! That's right. Not you, Woo! Mom. You need to hold the wheel. Oh, come on. It's not Jesus <laughs> take the wheel. We're just going, <laughs> we're going foraging. <laughs> Coming in like crazy. Oh, I know. Yeah. When are you gonna pull over there? Nah, next year, hopefully. Well, by the end of oh, this year. They gonna be there for you? Well, we gotta wait until it gets cold. Yes. But going into winter, we're gonna have them moved over. Yeah. So that you can come up and enjoy coming in here. Yes. Yeah. So I think we should go down closer to the creek because that is where. Yeah, we can do it this way. Look how pretty. They are very pretty. Mm -hmm. I learn every day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they do smell. The very yeah, they thing. do smell very little, but they smell. Very delicate. Yeah, very delicate. That's right. Mm. Beautiful. Very pretty. We had all intentions on foraging for uh, some cleavers, uh, which is a really beautiful lymphatic herb. This right here is cleavers. And I'll show you, I've done a video in the past about cleavers. What's speaking to us right now is the beautiful uh, wild rose, the multiflora rose. They're in bloom right now, and we're sitting here driving past, and they are just, they're, they're catching our attention. Now, I've not used wild rose medicinally, um, but we started looking to see what are its medicinal properties, how can we use it? And sometimes when a plant catches your attention, you need to take a pause and listen to it. And that's something that we believe in, truly. Um, but this right here is cleavers. I'm gonna share a video that I did last year about setting up a tincture. But cleavers, it's called cleavers because, ready? You can play catch with me. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> go again. It's sticking to me. Where did it go? I'm just, okay, hold on. I'm throwing plants at my mother and they're not cleaving to her <laughs> because I completely missed. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, do, don't pee. You made me pee my pants. Don't pee your pants. I'm trying to teach these people, I'm trying to teach these people about cleavers. Do you see the abuse I gotta put up with? Okay, all right, turn around, I'll do it. Ready, boom. Cleavers! Oh my gosh, it's stick to this shirt. <laughs> this is nature's Velcro. Oh nature's my gosh. Velcro. <laughs> Grandma, you want to touch it? This is cleavers. We were going to do a video on this. Yes. Feel how, feel it? It feels like Velcro. Oh my gosh, it's stick to yeah. my fingers. Oh, this is pretty cool. But cleavers. That's why they stick on the shirt. Exactly, but cleavers, it sticks on your shirt, it sticks on your stuff. It's like nature's Velcro. There are medicinal properties to it. It's a lovely little plant. Um, I still think we need to harvest cleavers, but the multiflora rose is speaking to us. But for our lymphatic system, cleavers will grab the nasty stuff and help move it out of your, help move it out. But. We've not ever really paid much attention to the multiflora rose, but my grandma's been like, what does it do? Does it have medicinal properties? Can we use it? This is so we're gonna learn something old together because this is not something that we have used and done anything with. Um, so let's learn. So flowers bloom in early to mid June and it's season is only for about two weeks so you got to be sure to harvest it before the season passes so that so this is right now right so we need to um the flowers mature at varying rates um meaning you'll find flowers that just open and have bright yellow stamens which yeah seen right they here. do yep they do um some flowers that are starting to go um They'll have brown stamens. Yep. And some flowers may still be budding. Right. 
so the taste is sweet, sour, bitter, astringent, and slightly mm. uh, pungent. Mm. Its energetics are cool and dry, which that makes sense because it was talking about uh, on red inflamed hot skin. Yeah. This would be the cooling. So factor. I would love to do, so I would love Kaylee, to be able to look, preserve. Look, look. I know these are, these the, are the hips. hips. We'll do the hips. We'll do the hips uh, when they're ready. These are last year's hips. It is. They, mm -hmm. It has a natural anti-inflammatory. So the roots are an astringent, the hips are an astringent, and they're blood tonic, nutritive for the immune tonic and a voluntary. All right. The flowers and leaves are anti-inflammatory, anti-spasmodic, astringent, antiseptic. They are an aphrodisiac. Well, now. They are a blood mover, cardiovascular tonic. They're a hemostatic styptic. Mm -hmm. They are also a liver relaxant, nervine relaxant, and a voluntary. Preparations, bath salts, cream, elixir, cordial. Ooh, we can make a cordial with it. Compress, flower essence, glycerite, honey infused oil, infusion, we can let's, lotion, oxymel, poultice, salve, salt or sugar scrub. Okay, okay, come here, come here, come here, because you're talking and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. So we just read Do that you can use in early pregnancy because of the blood moving effect uh, okay so not used for pregnancy because of the blood moving effects makes to total sense oh i got sunburned oh. <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and put um put this website down below that we're well, what we're looking at uh what we're looking at i'm also gonna go ahead and just double check with my books when we get back to the apothecary um but the flowers themselves they are edible it's a bird yeah. So, oh my here's what we're gonna do. Okay, look at it. Can you see it? Nope. And they know how to get out there of you go. here too. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. Hmm. That's pretty good. Um, here's what we're gonna do because it looks like there's a quite a few things that we can right, do you with this. Get some? Um, but I think the main thing, because we only have a few weeks of them blooming, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and harvest a good bit and load them up into the freeze dryer because you can make a glycerite with it. You can Everything do... Everything is usable in all forms. I know. You can make a salve with it. You can turn it oh into God. like a, a rose water. I am... I don't, I Red. Don't yeah, I told you. I got some sun today. Well, so you can take the flowers mm -hmm. and we can make a water with it and you can use it on your sunburn. Oh, that should be lovely. Because it's cooling. So then I need to get my basket. Very good. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do here, right Where here. Where did you touch it? No. You give me your gloves. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Oh, yeah. It's in here. Oh, my gosh. I'm... This is, this is... Let her mm. smell. Oh my gosh, yes, mm. yes. All right, yes. let me go get the basket real quick. Oh my gosh. Aren't they beautiful? They are so pretty. Yes. You By the way, good. everybody loves your pink Crocs, Nana. Just yeah, saying. Your pink Crocs are the talk of the town. Everybody's getting hot pink Crocs because of you. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> your shoes. They love, love your shoes. They love my shoes. <laughs> They're old, honey. Mm -hmm. You got the, my father. My mm -hmm. father was like this. He know about snail. Yeah. He knows about my grandmother. Yeah. But it was my grandmother the size of my mother, not the, my father. And I bet now. And my father, he was with her all the time yeah. because he did learn, yeah. you know. What's cool is they're probably watching over us right now thinking, look at these ladies go. That's Look what it's about. Here. That's what it's about. Yeah. I want to show Hela. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a robin's egg. Yeah. Baby hatched from it. Yeah. So we have a nest somewhere. It was a good day. That's cool. We were blessed with a bunch of rain yesterday, so. We know where they came from. We know we don't spray. So as soon as we bring them back up to the apothecary, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna harness the goodness of this beautiful plant that only goes into bloom for two weeks. 
and I'm excited this is something new for us um, something new that we're gonna we're gonna share and take you guys with um, but I think what we're gonna do is preserve them and go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and freeze dry them until we start to really learn all the different ways that you can use it so just remember that this harvest is once a year yeah and it's only for a couple of weeks well so. this whole forest smells like honeysuckles honey. and rose oh. is what I've been smelling yeah yeah so and Let's, then it's snowing cottonwood How I know magical this whole place is magical is that? we're just it's just magical let's go get them to the apothecary and preserve them okay all right let's go Carpenter me is going to town. Yeah, we gotta do something about it. So it's always good to not just rely on, on websites and always kind of do like a fact check for yourself and check out some of your books see what's in there there are a few uh, few books that we have that have the multi-flora rose I grabbed the lost book of uh, herbal remedies and she's got a nice little section on here specifically to the the wild rose now it talks about identification the flowers have five petals the parts that you can use she mainly talks about the the actual flower itself so that is what we're going to go ahead and snip and preserve however the some of the websites that we were looking at also talked about the the leaves itself but we're going to go ahead and just harness the flowers and then i'm going to load them up into the freeze dryer because there are so many things that you can do with it you can make it into a tea um, use it for cold and flu remedy the rose support your immune system and help people recover from a common cold and and flu-like symptoms the rose petals and the rose hips are high in vitamin c and also vitamin a b3 d and e along with other other minerals and it's also packed full of antioxidants which is is very very good and the one thing that i think is kind of fun is it also lifts your mood which we do use rose petals for your mood um, very supportive as well but this also promotes your circulation it supports your liver your gallbladder for your skin as an anti-inflammatory antiviral so there are a few things that we're going to do uh, i think with this but the big thing is is because we are limited on time that this plant produces this lovely flower. We're more along the line of just getting it to preserve it. So that is why we're gonna go ahead and load it up into our Harvest Right freeze dryer. You can make rose water with this and use it as an eye wash. It's soothing and cooling to the eye. It's good for eye infections, bacterial infections, urinary tract infection. So this is the perfect time to harvest it. And of course we left a good bit for our pollinators as well. And then the other thing that you can do is turn it into an oil and make make it to where you can you can turn it into a, a skin salve with your with your beeswax and then making it into a rose water, which I think we're going to we're gonna try. But the big thing is is we gotta get these flowers and get them preserved. We're inspecting them really well so that if there's any buggy or anything on it then we're just gonna go ahead and turn it into a pile and then compost it um, but we're gonna go ahead and snip and snip you're taking many the rose flowers too right yeah if anyone is interested in purchasing their own harvest right freeze dryer I will put my affiliate link down below it lets harvest right know that 
we are doing something awesome over here and showing and teaching people all the good things that you can do with your harvest rate freeze dryer but there is a mega sale that is happening for the month of may there's only a few days left so definitely take advantage of up to 500 dollars off and for my instant gratification people this is the next day and guess what they are done they look and smell well they smell amazing These look really pretty. They are. They smell so good. Like so there's a few things that I want to do. One of them, which I, I don't think I'm going to do tonight. I think we're just going to have a, a good cup of this wild rose um, tea just to taste it. But I want to go back. I want to harvest more. Mm -hmm. And I want to do a flower essence. I want to make rose water too. Definitely. But we've got, we're just like, there's such a limited of time for they, these to be so absolutely beautiful. I'm excited. I want to see what the tea tastes like. I think it's going to taste just like it smells. It's going to, it literally smells it's, just like a rose. It's just, it's very delicate, but it's strong at the same, mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm. Is that for me? Mm-hmm. I'm tired. I am. I think we I think we played Superwoman I, this weekend. I know I played a superwoman. And then and it was it's only Monday. <sighs> right. We worked hard this weekend. It was good. Let's it was taste, it was good. Let's taste our beautiful wild rose tea. Nana's already in bed or else we would have come and grabbed her. Um, she would have, she's gonna enjoy this. I know, I know. She was very, very excited about the flowers. It just, it caught her eye. And yep. so we had to stop and listen and maybe there's a reason. Yeah. And so we will, we will drink this and, and then have, make sure that she gets a cup, a cup tomorrow. But yep. I'm uh, excited about the rose oil. Yeah that we're going to make too. I'm excited about the tea and then reading about... Oh look, about, it looks a little pink too. I know, it is, yeah. And then reading about um, just its benefits and the properties for cold and flu, mixing with honey. There's there's going to be some pretty interesting things. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go back. I'm going to harvest some more, um, make some stuff with it. Mm -hmm. But for right now... Cheers. Let's see. Let's see how it tastes. It smells good. It smells like the petals. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's delicious. Wow. Now I can taste the honey. Yeah. But the first beginning I taste, taste, I could taste the flower yeah. from the rose. Oh yeah. I wonder if I can infuse honey with the rose petals. Maybe, I don't know. We're gonna play. We're gonna play because this is what we do. So yeah, this was really good. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along with us in our random foraging adventures of the wild rose. Well, um, it seems like twice now we've gone on an adventure for a specific plant and this is sometimes something else. <laughs> something else has spoken, shown it that's it. Yeah. Something else has shown itself to us. Yep. Caused an interest in not only us, but in others. Well, it's and cool that's what's so cool that about it. My ninety-year-old grandmother. Yes. Is Took learning. Oh, she's learning. She says, "What that one say? <laughs> what does this one do?" And so it's you know this is this is all part of it. And as always, don't be afraid. <laughs> Go ahead <laughs> to get your hands dirty and and learn something old. <laughs> Bye guys. Do you want to do that again? No. <laughs> it's going to be we're just 
just my our videos are bloopers and all. This is yeah, what you get. That's it. There's, <laughs> yeah, this is what you get. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.